Welcome to another video and here we are once again with the OnePlus 13. This is an incredible device. There's so much packed into it and I really think Samsung should be worried if they aren't because a lot of what we see on the OnePlus 13 can be found in some shape or form on the Samsung Galaxy series. So today's focus is going to be on artificial intelligence since that is the hype these days. And we're going to be focusing specifically on two AI features on the OnePlus 13 that are in the smart sidebar here. Now, Samsung Galaxy has its own version of a smart sidebar. It pulls out just like this and we have similar functions. We have similar applications that we can add in here. But I have yet to see these two features in the Galaxy devices that I own, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 or the S23 Ultra, even with them running the UI7 beta. And this is something I feel Samsung should be, and they probably are looking at, because the OnePlus 13 is not only more affordable, but it packs a lot of the same features just in different ways that work just as good or sometimes even better because again, they might not be on Samsung Galaxy devices yet, but I'm sure they'll be coming. So let's talk more about these two features. We're going to have AI Summary and AI Speak. And basically you can use these in either a browser, this works with multiple browsers such as Edge or Chrome, or you can use this feature or these features in applications such as Google News. Now, as you can imagine, AI Summary will summarize articles and AI Speak will read what's on the page. So I wanna start with AI Speak first. Now, I'm going to tap on it in a moment here. And you're going to see that it kind of scans the page. It's like a virtual animation of some sort. I like that. It gives it a futuristic touch. And then it opens this other page, which gives you a transcript of what's on that page and it starts reading the transcript. So let's go ahead and try that out with this article here. The affordable car is about to go extinct in the US. As President Donald Trump's tariffs set in, it may well be time to say goodbye to the under dash dollar 30. Zero zeros. So what's nice again is you get this pop up here and it gives you a transcript and you can pause it, you can play it, you can rewind it, you can forward it. You can change the speed here. You could even replay it. So you have playback controls. And again, you do have this transcript which you can expand. Now you can back out of this and when you back out, you'll also get a widget that you can just have on the screen anywhere, which is really nice because you can go into another application. You can leave this page completely and you'll still get that playback. So this works in the background as well. So I just wanna demonstrate that really quick. Zero car. Let's be upfront here. U.S. cars haven't been cheap for a long time. The average price of a new car in the U.S. is close to $50. Zero, zero, zero. Up some $5. And then you can reopen that widget if you want to see the transcript again or just scroll through things here or use those playback controls. Now what's also nice is if you like what you're hearing, you can still play the AI speak but you can also do a summary of what you're listening to at the same exact time, which is really cool. It's, it's really nice for research or productivity, anything like that. So again, let's give this a try. I'm going to play the article and then we're going to do an AI summary at the same exact time. Zero, zero, zero from two decades ago, even adjusted for inflation. The reasons are manifold. Vehicles have gotten more complicated and expensive to manufacture. The COVID-19 pandemic bent global auto supply chains out of shape. And Detroit automaker. So as you can see there, we've got the AI speaking going at the same time and the AI summary, which is really nice because if I want it to, while I'm listening to this, if I like what I'm hearing, I do have the option on the AI summary here to copy the summary. So we can copy that to our clipboard. We can add it into our other notes. And again, this plays in the background. So let's say that I like what I'm hearing here. 
and I want to go into Keep Notes, Google Keep Notes. We're going to open that up, and let's say I want to add those notes, but I still want to play this whole article. Let's put the brakes on relatively more affordable passengers' cars in the past decade in favor of higher margin and more in-demand trucks and SUVs. But auto tariffs applied by the Trump administration this week. And and there we go. I was still playing the article, but I added the AI summary into my Google Keep Notes. And this is just a really good way to maximize productivity, research, efficiency. I think this is what we're really looking for in AI. And to be honest, the OnePlus 13, they're killing the game here. Uh, again, I haven't seen this on in this shape or form. I haven't seen this in that side panel for Galaxy devices. And I don't have the S25 Ultra, so I can't verify it. But if it is in the side panel of the S25 Ultra, please let us know in the comments down below. But again, this is only something, and, and just a side note here, when you aren't in a browser or an application that has an article, the feature goes away. But again, this is something that I am finding very useful for my research. I like to research uh, technology. I like to research uh, business news, investing, that kind of stuff. And not only can we have the article spoken aloud, but we can get that AI summary. Now, just a side note, these browsers, they do tend to have some form of AI speak in them. Not all of them, but some of them. And a lot of times they do have the ability to summarize. So for example, Samsung has the ability to summarize in their browser. But again, I haven't seen the AI summary in the actual side panel. And the benefit with the OnePlus 13 is you don't even have to be in a browser. You can be in an application like Google News, the Google News application, and you could do the AI speak and the AI summary in that, and that's not a browser. So in some ways, this actually works better on the OnePlus 13. They're doing an incredible job and they're killing the game. They're leading by example. And it's unfortunate that this isn't a popular device. It's not as popular as the Galaxy series, but things might change. I'm hopeful that they'll change. But anyways, I just wanted to share this feature. I'm very excited about it. It works pretty well. Sometimes I do have to refresh the web page if it's been sitting a while and then try the AI summary or AI speak features and then they will process. Now there are some pronunciation errors, specifically with numbers. So for example, if you have 1000, it'll say $1,000, or sometimes it won't read the complete article. But overall, it seems to work pretty good of course, there are going to be rooms for improvement, but it's just, again, a way to maximize your research, your productivity, and your efficiency. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.